Jace Tunnel here with the Mission Aransas Research Reserve. Today we're here at South Packery Channel and we're on North Padre Island. The water today is really clear, so I want to turn this around and show you how clear it is. And I've been walking around out here, there are sea turtles, a lot of schooling fish. Uh, stuff like that. Um, we're finding uh, little snails and stuff crawling around. There's even some stone crabs up in here. But I thought you might like to look to see what is going on at the end of the jetty. And so we're going to do a time warp to be able to get us down there, okay? So hang on. Here we go. Okay, so that was the time warp all the way down from the beginning of the jetty all the way down to here. And so now we're here looking to see if anybody's catching any fish out here. You gotta catch any fish out here? I caught one first cast. <laughs> really? Hey! First cast. Not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth. The first. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so people are catching fish out here see what it looks like now on the way out here there's actually a guy that is uh, snorkeling out here and he's got a spear spear gun let's see can get close down here so you can see anything I was hoping to be able to see some uh, sea turtles Pin fish. Yeah. Baby perch. Yep. Did you catch anything that was like a keeper? Yeah, we got, I think, one of the 25 inch red down here. Dang! Stringer. Awesome. Go ahead and see. Oh, he's down here? Yep. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, okay, 25 inch red down there. Okay, congratulations. Well, <laughs> that was his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went in mine. Uh, <laughs> okay, you see a lot of this uh, uh, green algae growing on here. Uh, that's pretty typical, it gets real slimy slippery so you wouldn't normally want to come out here and and walk around uh, but because the waves are so small today and uh, I'm just staying on the dry areas got a hook in there yeah he swallowed the whole thing croaker uh, whiting whiting okay yeah. hey. Cool. Okay, so a lot of fish being caught. Oh, how's yeah, it going? <laughs> okay, now I can see lots of mullet. And typically we have the striped mullet here. Uh, sometimes you find a white mullet, but mainly striped mullets. And there are schools and schools of them along here and people don't eat those they they do eat uh mullet like in florida and stuff i know they fry them up the white mullet but i don't think people actually eat the striped mullet but you can actually see some jack looks like some jackfish up in there too let's go see what the uh guy down here is catching snorkeling down there morning good it's crazy. The water is so pretty. <laughs> you too. Okay. I can see the guy talking about something big down there. It's called a fish swirl. That's what kept And there's a sea turtle down there swimming right by the guy. That's pretty cool. <clears throat>
Golly, that's some nice looking water down there. Now, here's the channel. This is actually, uh, it gets real shallow in here. And whenever the waves are big, waves break right at the end here. And I've actually seen surfers out there. But uh, you know, only really shallow boats can make it in here. Uh, here comes the boat down there right now. Um, and then on the other side with North Packery, that's where Mustang Island starts. Um, usually there's a lot of surfers and stuff over there. And I can actually see there are some surfers over there right now. And we just had Hurricane Zeta that went up into um, Louisiana. And the waves were huge out here. We, uh, we, you know, we didn't get any of the wind or anything like that, but we did get some big waves. But we had a cold front coming in at the same time. Got off. Ooh, look oh, at this. Yeah. Speckled trout. <laughs> okay, man, a lot of different types of fish catching out here today. So here comes a boat. Now, one time I was able to get real close. Oh, oh look at this. So, uh, please put your cigarette butts here. Surfrider Foundation. So, that's what those things are for. There's also some similar looking ones that people can put their monofilament fishing line in. And so, you know, your line breaks or you change out all your line. You can put it inside of one of those tubes that you'll see along here. And there's some at usually fishing piers, at boat ramps, things like that. But then people can, uh, re we, we have volunteers that go around and take that fishing line out. And then we send it to places that recycle it. Let's see, I just saw a turtle pop up over here. Yeah, right there. You see that turtle? Another turtle. Here comes one popping up right there. Okay. Now a lot of the different types of birds you'll see along here. Uh, the ready turnstone. And uh, can you see that right there? That's, um, they've got orange legs, kind of brown uh, spots on its back and a, a darker head. Uh, those are pretty common. You can also see sanderlings, they'll group up out here. And then we have like a great tailed grackle eating on a piece of fish, it looks like. Okay, well, we're about eight and a half minutes in now. But the idea that you can go along one sweep down the jetty see a whole bunch of different types of fish. You see sea turtles. Um, you see uh, different types of birds that are feeding. And so, uh, I don't know, if you ever get a chance to do that, uh, might want to come out and see what people are catching. Talk to people. Let's see if I can get down here without falling. Oh, little mullet down there. See some uh, black mangrove seeds floating. Uh, a lot of different uh, snails and hermit crabs all in here. Okay. Let's see. Some oysters growing up here. That tells you that, uh, you know, the water levels can get pretty high and stay pretty high to be able to get oysters growing up here. Uh, so the water levels are kind of low right now compared to where they've been all year okay okay so with that uh, that's the end of this episode and hopefully one day and maybe today I'll jump in here and try to get some footage of sea turtles and stuff up close the water temperatures probably upper 60s right now so it's a little chilly for me but that's the norm in some other parts of the country so Okay, with that, uh, we'll talk to you later.